Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad that you could join me. Today, we are going to start a brand new theme. We were talking about diversity, but today we're going to talk about our feelings. And we're going to talk about one of my favorite feelings first. It's all about this. Can you figure out what shape that is? You can make it with your hands. You can even make it with just one finger if you want. It's really tricky. Do you know what shape that is? It's a heart. And a heart, this shape, most times means love. So we're going to talk about what things you might love and maybe even how you show your love to those things. Are you ready? Let's get started by saying hello. Put your hands up so you can join me. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? I am so very glad to see you today, and I'm excited to talk to you about some of our new things that we're going to talk about. We have a lot to talk about today, all about things that you love. Can you think about something that you love? Hmm. When you love something, you like it a lot. It might be your favorite thing ever. Maybe you love a toy. Maybe you love your mom or your dad. Maybe you love a dog or a cat that you have at your house. I hope you have lots of things that you love. Are you ready for our first story? Okay. Our first story is about if animals said, I love you. And we're going to pretend to be all the different animals and pretend to say, I love you like they do. So think of your favorite thing and have it close by. If you love your mom or dad, you get to show them how you love them like an animal. It's going to be a funny one today. Are you ready? It's written by Anne Whitford. Paul, and the pictures or the illustrations are by David Walker. If animals said, I love you. Here we go. If animals said, I love you, like we do, gorilla would pound a loud chest, slap, slap. I love you, my young one. Wappity wap. Can you pound your chest like you're a gorilla? Good job. Whale would sing it and from his spout, that's that little hole on top, shoot some heart-shaped bubbles out. Mmm. I can't blow bubbles, but I can blow a kiss. Can you blow a kiss to the thing that you love? Good work. Boa would his hatchlings come please. Time for a loving, squish-hugging squeeze. Can you go give the thing that you love a great big hug? A great big hug? Don't hurt it, but give it a great big hug. Oh, this is a silly one. Lion and cousins would tussle and tumble, romp and roll in a joyful love jumble. Can you go give a surprise attack to the thing you love? Give it a surprise attack. If animals said, I love you like we do, gorilla would say it and offer a treat. Bamboo, little infant, yum, yum, eat. Ooh, what does the thing that you love love to eat? 
Hmm. If it's a toy, it probably doesn't eat. That would be tricky. Secretary bird would type with claw feet. Love you. Warm, tender words with his click, clack, beat. You can say I love you with your words. You could say it with your actions or what you do. And you could also say it with your hands. So you take your hand and you're going to take this finger and this finger and pull it down. So your little finger stays up and your thumb stays up and your pointer finger. That says I love you in sign language. I love you. All together it says I love you. If you flip it this way, it's like Spider-Man shooting a web, but you have to flip it up. And then it's I love you. Cheetah would murmur love's sweet purr and lick, lick, lick his sister's fur. Can you go give the thing you love a lick? Might be weird. Maybe you want to give it a kiss instead. That would be okay. Scampering spider spinning his web would write, I adore you in silky white thread. Hmm. Maybe instead of writing, could you show them your heart? Take your hands, thumbs go together. And then you curl your fingers this way to make a heart. If that's tricky, you can also do this. Start with your hands on the back and you're gonna peel them down until your thumbs touch. I'll show you again. Put your hands back to back, then peel them down until your thumbs touch. Then you made a heart. You go show somebody your heart because you love them. If animals said, I love you like we do, Gorilla would say it and pat, pat her lap. Come, let me hold you close in my hairy arm wrap. A hairy arm wrap is like a hug. Can you go hug the thing that you love? Ostrich would strut. That's like a fancy walk. His friend side, I'm sorry, his friends by his side, booming his love with his feathers spread wide. Can you show the thing that you love how much you love them by stretching out your arms? Do you love them a little bit or a lot? Stretch your arms out big if you love them a lot. Impala would speak with a leapity leap. I love you, my grandchild, a heapity heap. Ooh, how much do you love that thing, that person? Show me how big with your jump. Do you love them only a little bit? Do you love them a big jump? I hope you love them a lot. Alligator would add a big tail swish and shower his brother's splashity splish. Ooh, how much do you love that thing? Pretend you have a tail. Shake it really fast if you love it a lot. Shake it a little slow if you love it a little bit. If animals said, I love you, like we do, gorilla and infant would smooch a room, then rumble with happiness loud and deep. Sure of their love, they'd snuggle and sleep. Can you go give a kiss to somebody that you love? Or something you love? the end. I hope you have lots of things that you love because loving things and people are really wonderful things. 
it's a very great thing to love something and it's even better when something loves you back. Makes you feel extra special and warm and snuggly inside. Are you ready? My next story is so great. I love it. It's called Crocodiles Need Kisses Too. It's about a baby crocodile who's sad and he misses his mommy and he just wants to have some love. Yeah, he just wants to have some love. And so he does some things, but the other animals get scared because other animals show love in different ways. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different. It's a great story though. I can't wait to share it with you. It's by Carrie Weston and Russell Julian. And it's called Crocodiles Need Kisses Too. Under the moon on a riverbank lay a nest full of eggs. One egg began to wobble and roll and shake until crack. Two beady eyes went boink. One loud snout went snap. Lots of sharp pointy teeth went Snip. There on the sand was a snipodile. Snapodile. Tiny little crocodile. The little crocodile looked left. Snip. The little crocodile looked right. Snip. He looked and he looked, but he was all alone. The little crocodile snipped and snapped all by himself. The moon disappeared and the sun came up. The little crocodile warmed himself alone on the sand. But before long, he heard a chip and a chirp and little crocodile's heart fluttered. <gasps> a friend at last! He peeped over a rock and saw a mommy sparrow feeding her hungry babies. The little crocodile was hungry too. He slithered softly over the sand, opened his mouth wide, and waited for his turn to be fed. Cheep, 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 squeaked the baby sparrows in alarm. Squawk, squawk, screeched the mother. It's a snippodile, snippodile, very scary they shrieked together and flew away as fast as they could. The little crocodile was alone once more. Why did they fly away? Do you have an idea? Oh, you see his sharp teeth and you think they were scared of him? That could be. Was he trying to scare the birds? No, he just wanted to have some food. Hmm. Would that make you sad if you wanted some food and everybody ran away instead? I bet it would. After a while, the little crocodile noticed a rumbling in the bushes. A gang of buffalo came down to the river for a drink. The baby buffalo danced and pranced in the shallow water. <gasps> Here's my chance, thought little crocodile. He scurried over the sand towards the baby buffalo. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. Leaped into the cool, clear water to join the fun. Eek! Eek! Squealed the baby buffalo. Grump! Grump! Huffed the big buffalo. It's a snippodile, snappodile, very scary crocodile. They stomped together and they thundered away as fast as they could. Why'd they run away? Oh, were they scared too? Sad. 
the little crocodile was all alone again. The little crocodile felt sad. I would like a mommy to feed me, he sighed. I would like to splish and splash in the water with my family, he sniffed. I would like a mommy to give me cuddles and kisses, he cried. And a big tear welled up in his little beady eye, and it rolled down his long snout. He opened his mouth wide and was about to let out a big, lonely cry. When he heard a soft, gentle purring, a mommy tiger was washing her little cub. She licked his face and his ears and even his chin. She kissed the little cub all over and he purred and purred. Oh, that looks nice, thought little crocodile. So he hurried over the sand, crept up next to the tiger cub, and lifted his chin for a kiss. No! Yelped the cub. It's a snapodile, snapodile, very scary crocodile! <laughs> the mommy tiger. Two fierce eyes and lots of sharp teeth. Yikes! yelled the terrified little crocodile and he ran away as fast as he could. He ran and he ran until suddenly two beady eyes went blink and a long snout went snap and lots of sharp Pointy teeth went snip. It was a snipodile, snapodile, great big crocodile. The great big crocodile opened her great big wide mouth and crept closer and closer and gave her baby a loving, snuggly crocodile kiss. <gasps> There, there, she said. You are an early one. The little crocodile glowed with happiness as he snuggled close to his mommy. Together they warmed themselves on the sand. Can you find the baby? Yeah, he's right there. He's sleeping on her snout. Isn't that so cute? Very soon, there was a wobbling and a rolling and a shaking until finally, crack! Lots of beady eyes went blink. Lots of loud, long snouts went snap. And hundreds of sharp, pointy teeth went snip. The riverbank was full of snipodile, snapodile, tiny little crocodiles. Mommy Crocodile gave each one of her babies a lovely, snuggly crocodile kiss. After all, she smiled, crocodiles need kisses too. The end. Did you like that story? I like that story. I have a question for you. There are lots of different things that we can love, but my question is, how do you like to show something or someone that you love them? Do you like to give them hugs or kisses? Or maybe, pardon me, maybe, Maybe you like to make them a card. There's lots of ways to show somebody that you love them. Very much so. Today we have one more thing to do. It's going to be a song. And it might be one that you know. It's called If You're Happy and You Know It. And we're going to talk about some different feelings with it. We're going to talk about four different feelings. We're going to talk about if we're happy, 
or if we're sad, or if we're angry, or if we're in love. Okay, happy, sad, angry, and in love. Lots of different emotions. We're gonna start with happy. Are you ready? Do you know what we do if we're happy? Yep, we clap our hands. Here we go, let's sing the song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ooh, happy. The next one is sad. What do we do if we're sad? We do lots of things. You might cry. And when you cry, you have tears that come from your eyes. Yeah. So we're going to pretend to be sad for this song. Can you pretend to be sad? Yeah. Just pretend. And we're going to wipe our eyes like this, okay? Okay. Here we go. We're going to pretend. Not for real. We're just pretending. <laughs> Get your sad face. Here we go. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. <laughs> being sad. Me too. The next one we're going to do is if we're angry. Do you know what you do when you're angry? There's lots of things people do if they're angry. Sometimes they're really angry and they might scream or they might pout like this or they cross their arms and their face gets really scrunchy. That's angry. Sometimes People take a breath to calm their body. So we're gonna take a breath. Can you take a big breath with me? Good job. You might blow so hard when you're angry that your hair might move. That's okay. So we're gonna make an angry face. Can you make an angry face? Very good. Okay, let's pretend we're angry and sing the song. If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, Take a breath. <sighs> Are you all better now? Me too. The last one we're going to do is if you're in love. Do you know what you're doing if you're in love? You can do lots of different things if you're in love. But today, we're going to give a hug. So give a crisscross hug. You can give a hug to yourself. You can give a hug to a mom or a dad or a grandma or a grandpa or maybe a dog or a pet. Something that you love. Are you ready? If you're loved and you know it, give a hug. Big squeeze! Ah. If you're loved and you know it, give a hug. Oh, I love hugs. If you're loved and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're loved and you know it, give a hug. <sighs> I love love. Isn't that so fun? It makes your heart all smuggly, snuggly warm. I love it. Just like I love sharing stories and songs with you. I hope you had a great time today, and I look forward to sharing more stories with you next time. Bye-bye, my friends.